Okay, welcome to the 90 Day Focus. Let's talk about a bulletproof mindset. You really have to shape your mindset for the long haul here. One of the most transformative aspects of embracing a 90 day plan is the shift that it requires in your mindset, because this isn't about crushing it in a single sprint, but really committing to a marathon of continuous growth, data collection and improvement. And by reframing your perspective on a single 90 day plan to instead thinking of a year long journey consisting of four 90 day plans, you can truly harness the power of that consistent incremental progress. So it's about playing long game. When we start a 90 day plan, it is so easy to be laser focused on immediate results. But remember, this isn't about instant gratification. This is about the long game. Imagine the compounded growth, the wealth of data and the deep insights that you'll have after completing not just one, but two, but three, but four, but multiple years of 90 day plans. It's a whole period of your life dedicated to consistent action towards your goals, the growth the progress, the transformation that can be achieved in that time frame is truly outstanding and you can shift your perspective on it. Let's talk about data over drama. In this journey, there will be ups and downs. There will be days where everything goes according to plan and days when it seems like nothing is working, but it's crucial not to get emotionally entangled in those fluctuations. And this is the power that I see of women who have done back-to-back -back multiple 90-day plans is they're, they're less on that emotional roller coaster with their business because they've understood that a bad day is just one day in many, many good days. Like they can see the peaks and the troughs. They are aware of it. They've done the data. They can look at the information to go, oh, a bad day is just like a one little blip on a very good year, right? So instead, you need to focus on the data. Each day, whether good or bad, is an opportunity to gather valuable information that can inform your actions moving forward. Remember, there is no such thing as a bad day or a bad week. There are only opportunities for learning and growth. When you have a challenging day, the key is don't beat yourself up over it. Don't make one challenging day turn into one shitty week. Just make a note of what happened. Learn from it. Keep going. Every piece of data, every experience contributes to the overall journey. And I want to talk about the fall of the bandwagon mindset. This is not a crash diet. This is not a 10-day lemon water detox right? It's a common scenario. We commit to a plan, we start really strong, but then we have a bad day or a week and suddenly we're off the bandwagon and we're struggling to get back on. This is where a shift in mindset becomes the most paramount thing. When you fall off the bandwagon, and I'm using that language even though I hate it because I know that's what everyone else uses, instead of dwelling on the setback, focus on the data. What actually caused me to fall off? What was the disruption? Was it a one-off event? Was there a pattern that needs to be addressed? Take the information and use it to strengthen your plan and your personal resolve. Remember, single bad day is just that one day in 90. It doesn't define your journey or your potential for success. So let go of the guilt, the self-judgment and the defeatist mindset. Get back up, get on track and keep moving forward. You've got to adopt the long-term perspective. Focusing on data over the emotional ups and downs and overcome the fall off the bandwagon mindset are all really important aspects to successfully navigating your 90 day plan journey. It's not about perfection, but about progress, growth and data driven insights. So you've got to embrace the journey, play the long game and keep fucking going because your future self will thank you. So let's fucking go, baby.